All right, we're back in the booth on a Labor Day afternoon, and we are gonna do one of these flat-sided wiggle warts in a type of Tennessee shad color. Uh, just a little kind of twist to it that I like to put on there. Um, so what I've already done is I've already put in uh, a coat of uh, Autoborn Sealer White, and then I put a coat of Titanium Golden White in over this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of <clears throat> uh, Iridescent Pearl from Golden, and I'm gonna shoot just the sides of this bait with it. So we'll, I don't know why that does that every time. So get my gun. I'm gonna be using my Creos PS771 on this. And then I got the pressure on about 20. And we're just gonna do the sides. And it's hard to see on camera, but it just puts a kind of a, just a shine on it. Get a good coat over it. Come up to about where the shoulders are. Okay, so we'll clean the gun out real quick. Dry it out real fast. And I actually had a subscriber comment on some um, <clears throat> Quicksilver Chrome, his name's Todd. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of this Quicksilver, but I'm gonna use the gold version. Um, and what you actually have to do first is you have to put down a gloss black, which this is auto air with my bottles spilled all over it. It is 4258 gloss black. Um, to get it to activate the Quicksilver Chrome or the gold, uh, you have to use a gloss black. And I'm actually gonna use a color, couple other um, color shifting paints. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of this gloss black loaded up. Set it to the back. Make sure we're. That's probably a good enough pattern. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over the top. And just kind of layer it on, and I'm going to come down the sides a little bit because the effect I'm trying to get, I gotta get that black on the sides. And I'm even gonna go ahead and come across the eye and the nose. It's really a thin paint, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop there, I'm gonna heat set it, then I'm gonna put another coat on it. It's very, the gloss black is very thin. Set it back up. You can see where it's kind of sprayed a little thin in the eyes there. And we'll hit it again. You can see it kind of, it just darkens it up a whole lot better.
get it on there and build it up because when you go to put your Quicksilver Chrome on it, it's got to have the black on it to activate it. I think that'll probably do it. So what we'll do is we'll clean the gun out and then we'll heat set that. For a minute, we'll go ahead and heat set this. Next is I'm going to go ahead and grab my scale wheel and we're going to put a little bit of um, Quicksilver Chrome, which is uh, 4105. It is the gold chrome and this is very loose uh, paint, easy to spray. You want to spray this on low. I'm going to put this on about 15. I'm not going to go just put on the shoulders with this just to get the scale effect. You won't need a lot of this paint. So we'll set it down. And we'll go ahead and test it. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and lock my wheel because all I'm gonna do is, I wanna do from the shoulders down, just that little section right there of, um, and I'm gonna let it be gold. You can see it's loose. It is very loose. And it gives a cool looking scale pattern. And we'll go ahead and let that, let that dry. We can heat set that and we'll clean the gun out, but it wants to, it, you barely touch your gun and it's going to pour out of there. It is going to pour out of there. Now what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use a little bit of, um, it is a Wicked um, Flare Color Shift Lemon Lime. I want the top to be a little green. And then I've got another color shift paint called Turbo Dork. I'm gonna, which is called Electrum, that I'm gonna shoot after I shoot this. So we'll put a little bit of this in the gun and we'll turn it up a little bit. That is actually uh, W459 Wicked Flare Lemon Lime. It's a new paint. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit, maybe to about 30. And then we're going to come over this black. You want to spray this over black also. You can spray it over black or white, but you're going to get the best effect spraying it over black. heat set that and dry out our cup
gives a pretty cool effect. When you turn it, you can actually see the, the different scale pattern in it. So now what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a paint I hadn't used in a while. It's a color shift on turbo dork paint. This one is actually called Electrum. It's actually got a really kind of a shifty green color shift. And we're gonna hit the top with this. change to a really cool looking green color that I think is really gonna pop once I get the once I get the um, clear coat on it so we'll put a couple coats on that and again that is a turbo dork electrum looking crankbait like I said it's a little knockoff of a Tennessee shad um, it's gonna have um, a little different twist to it than what the normal one would have I don't like to do them all the same and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of the regular carbon black and we're going to do our kill dot just need a little bit and if you're not comfortable um doing this without a stencil then you can use a stencil for this and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put it just above the lateral line here Just a little black dot. And I'm gonna grab a stencil real quick. <clears throat> This is actually just a texture stencil. I'm gonna put a little bit of texture right here on the face, not a lot, just a little bit to kind of give it a, a different texture on the face. Not real heavy, see how it's not, it's not real dark. Go ahead and do it on this side. get some eyes in it and that'll be finished up and that is a version of kind of a Tennessee shad type bait I have very good luck with um with green and I love flat-sided crankbaits this one is actually a very cool looking bait if you've never used them, I got them at lurebill.com, Jimmy. Um, he's got a lot of eyes, paints, blanks, uh, stencils, everything you'd need to do your stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take my gloves off for this. We'll go ahead and get this tape off and we'll go ahead and get um, the eyes put on so you can see it. No candy on this one. This one, um, I like to use candy paints, but this one I'm not gonna use it on. But it is a really cool looking bait. So what we're gonna do, I think the eyes I'm gonna use are gonna be some of these. Uh, let's see here. These are from Jetson. They are a seven millimeter well, that one came out Let me get 
that so I don't mess it up. It's been come off the cord somehow. So I can get it back on the cord so it doesn't get messed up. And I'm just gonna kind of match it up with what I think is gonna work. And I think this one's gonna work. Let's see here. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the best bet here. So what we'll do, we'll, <clears throat> well, let's see. Yeah, I like that. So that's what it looks like with the eyes. I just dropped an eye. We don't want to do that. These things cost too much money for these custom eyes. Get it back in its sleeve and we'll go ahead and get a coat of UBLS on this and then I'll go over the paints. that we used. So I'll take some, I'm gonna use the UBLS gloss on this one today. This is actually the 4053. I use the 4050 quite a bit. This is the newest one out. And we'll get a little bit in here. Don't need a whole lot. And we'll put it up here and I'll go over the paint with you. I'm gonna put a little bit of 4011 in that because it is, it's not as thick as the 4050. I don't know why. To me, it's not. Um, I'll get this stirred up. You can mix it in your gun if you like. I'm just so used to doing it in my, these little cups that I've done it for so long. It's, I know sometimes it's kind of wasteful, but it's just what I'm in the habit of doing. And plus sometimes when I mix the candies, you want to let them sit for about 15 minutes. I usually pre-mix them ahead of time and, uh, and do that. So we'll get our stand back up and get our bait back in here. And this will kind of lock our colors in. The cool thing about a bait like this is when you turn it, it's when you see most of the colors. It just shifts. When that light hits it, it's just, it gives it a different, a different look. All right, so we're going to hit it with the UBLA. You can see it just brightens it up. You can hit your bill with it. It really pops that color shift. So we'll heat set that and we'll go over the paint and that's gonna be it for that one. And that is my version of a kind of an alternative Tennessee shad. Just some colors that I really like that I catch fish on. It's a little bit different than the norm. Um, you don't see a lot of people using Turbo Dork. It's just a good paint if you haven't used it. It gives it a really cool finish. When I put the final top coat on, when I put my lure coat from Lure Build on, it is gonna pop. So we're gonna heat set this really fast. you take a quick look at it so it's got a like I said when you turn it in the light is when you get the most colors out of it it is a 
really cool bait, cool set of eyes, good fish catching color. So what we're gonna do, I'll go over everything we did. So we actually took, um, we first got the blank, we put a coat of Auto Born Sealer white on. And let's see, I'll set them out this way so you can actually see them. And then what I did was I actually put a coat of titanium golden white on. And then I covered up the sides with the pearl, um, iridescent pearl from Golden. Then we took the gloss black auto airs and we covered up the sides up to the lateral line on both sides and the top. And the reason you wanna do that is, is when you're using the Quicksilver Chrome, whether you're using the gold or the silver, that's kind of what activates it the best is the black, the gloss black. It's gotta be a shiny black. And then we took that gold and we just put it on the sides here from the lateral line up on both sides with the, um, with the netting. We want, you know, what I did was I just, well, we put it black, I put the netting over it, then I sprayed the Quicksilver Chrome Gold over top of that to kind of give it an effect, a scale, it gives it a scale pattern effect. And you can actually see that when you turn it. Um, then we um, took the Flare Shift um, Lemon Lime from Wicked, which is a 4059, that's a new paint. A lot of it's in the bottom. Um, and we put it over the top, which was black. And then I came back over it with the Turbo Dork Electrum to kind of just give it an extra effect, which they're very good paints. If you haven't used those, they're, they're not, uh, I mean, they're pretty well known, but I don't see a lot of the guys doing fishing lures with them. Oh, uh, so then we finished that. Then we used the, um, Mendez texture stencil just for the face to put a little scuff up there. Sometimes I do the body too, but I kind of like the way the body looks just clean like that. Um, then we took our carbon black and put our kill dot on. Then we used some eyes from Jetson, uh, which are very cool. And we put them in, give it a kind of a color contrast. Then we hit the top of it with the high gloss 4053 UVLS to lock the colors in. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. Hit the bell notification so you know when I'm doing upcoming videos. I'm gonna try to have a certain day that I do the videos. I'm probably gonna take Tuesday and make sure I at least get one posted a week. Um, so hit that bell notification so you know when I'm doing it. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.